Hey guys, Monk here. Um, today I'll be showing you how to construct a new invention of mine. Uh, the sign engine, I call it. Uh, I actually came up with this in math class. Uh, we were studying some trigonometry and the idea just struck me. Um, so just copy what I do. Um, <coughs> spawn a plate and choose whatever you like as a piston doesn't matter matter that much then you get your weld that to the plate and get your stacker tool stack outwards remove the in inside piston and then go to slider and right click for instant slider and then go to wire hydraulic uh, fixed can be checked if you like um, sometimes uh, sliders uh, they have a tendency to uh, spaz out and uh, ruin everything so uh, if sliders don't work use a fixed hydraulic only <coughs> okay and now I will spawn a bunch of chips and stuff and I'll wire it up and explain it to you okay uh, go to gate arithmetic get two multiply chips there and there then go to uh, gate time and get an accu accumulator <laughs> uh, make it a bit bigger right there and then we will need a gate trig chip and trig is for trigonometry uh, and then scroll down to sign deg which is degree um, and sign um, I'll explain it a little. Um, sine is a, it's a trigonometric function uh, which in English uh, means um, it's a way to uh, calculate angles in triangles and I'm not going to explain that any further uh, so get a button from wire input output uh, toggle checked value on one value off zero spawn that there then go to advanced input and choose whatever buttons you like um, this input will control the speed of the piston um, minimum zero maximum whatever you want um, preferably a high number so you can increase the speed a lot start at 15 is fine change per second 50 and just place that there okay go to another advanced input uh, change the buttons and this input will control uh, the length of the piston how far out it is <coughs> okay so you can keep the previous settings here and, uh, they are fine and I will wire this up okay uh, the multiply A goes to the input speed input and the B goes to the button and the A of the accumulator goes to this multiply and the sign chip goes to the accumulator um, they multiply here A goes to sign B goes to this input and the length of the hydraulic goes to this multiply okay um, I don't know if you know what an accumulator does um, basically if I turn this button on you can see that it will just increase while this button is on, when I turn it off, it will stop. <coughs> okay, and the sign chip. Um, the sign function, um, no matter what value you input into it, it will um, go always go between 1 and minus 1. It just is that way. Um, you can see that the accumulator is at 360, 370, uh, 390, 400, yeah, whatever. It will always go between 1 and minus 1. Um, and then uh, that sine value is multiplied by whatever length value you want. So if you increase this value, uh, uh, it will get longer and this is the speed so um, if I increase this value if I multiply 1 by 
uh, let's say yeah you can change it to whatever you like the bigger the value the faster this will move so if I unfreeze this you can see that it will start going back and forth just have to increase the speed a little <coughs> it's going faster and faster now also what were my length buttons two and one so if I hold two you can see that it will go out okay <coughs> so the difference between this engine and um, a simple thruster engine is that uh, it's much more simple and you can simply um, change the speed and the length and the only drawback is that when you increase the speed enough um, you can see that the piston stops here and that's because um, the sign value goes so fast from 1 to minus 1 so this piston don't have time to go back before uh, the values tells it to start going out um, oops lagging a bit um, but I'll show you a way to get around this um, basically you can't go too fast because because then the uh, uh, piston will move um, to a shorter distance but I'll show you how to get around this by having a slower speed okay I prepared um, two gears here so if you hook up this engine to a big gear like this <coughs> and then connect that to a smaller gear when when this spins the large gear I have a thruster here so when this big gear spins you can see that the small wheel spins a lot faster so if you hook up um, like wheels or whatever you like to this one uh, this one will spin faster than this one okay guys uh, that's pretty much it I hope you understood how to build this um, and uh, have fun